Hey guys, welcome back to another Countersign video. Before getting into it, I would like to first thank all of you for your support in the previous Nervia Guide video. I'm glad a lot of you asked questions on what alternatives there are to ships and units as the purpose of the video was to help you score your best with the units you have. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the card right here so you can check it out. Also, thank you guys so much for subbing to my channel. It really, really made my day waking up to such support from you guys and I promise to continue producing quality content for you guys to watch. And with that, let's get into it. Today, we'll be looking at the other boss available in Danger Close, Solicitatia. I hope I didn't butcher that name. To give you a heads up, Solicitatia is considerably tougher to beat and her mechanism is quite different compared to Nervia. If you'd like to jump straight to the unit recommendations, you can find the timestamp in the description below. So let's first talk about what Solicitasia does in the entire fight. She has a very unique mechanism where she constantly moves forward towards your ship when when she closes in, it will only take seconds to actually destroy you. However, a tower unit can stop her in her tracks. The entire fight can also be broken down into two phases. In phase 1, Solicitasia only has two attacks. Her range basic attack which hits the first target in front of her and her special skill. This skill will only activate when her special skill gauge is full. She summons two AoE beneath the front line and back line then detonates soon after casting it, dealing considerable damage to all units within its range. When there's almost 1 minute left to the fight, she will enter her second phase. This phase is like an enrage mechanism of the boss. She will now no longer be stopped by tower units and will constantly just keep pushing forward. Her special skill evolves and is casted on the entire field instead of underneath your front and back lines. She also gets an additional skill uh, where it vacuums nearby units towards the center of where it was cast. The entire idea of how to beat her is to keep a tower unit alive while doing damage behind. Once she enters the second phase, you want to drop any DPS who died behind her back until she reaches your ship and the fight is over. Of course, you also have the option of killing her if you have the DPS to do so. Nobody's stopping you from doing that, right? So here are the key units you need to defeat the boss. Fortunately, uh, there's lesser key units compared to Nervia. Lesson learned. Okay, so the most crucial unit is Gabriel. One of the extremely rare breed of its unit in the game right now, but so niche that nobody uses him other than for this boss fight. He is also the only one so far that can be deployed away from the ship, so there really isn't much choice here, we, we just have to use Gabriel. Gabriel does one thing for us in this fight. No! And that's stopping Solicitasia from moving forward, giving us time to kill her. So you want to give him full HP sets to increase his tankiness. The second key unit is Sanae. Surprised? Sanae is able to do some pretty decent damage, but her main role here is to provide an AoE buff that increases damage done towards siege units by 40% to all units within her AoE range. She can go with either attack or cooldown reduction set depending on what you have. The third and final key unit is Jushi Yun. Jushi Yun is able to trigger his special skill when Solicitasia's skills detonate beneath his feet, often saving your entire backline from wiping completely. However, he's going to need at least a cooldown reduction set to work properly. His counter doesn't get off cooldown on some occasions at 30% skill haste, so I highly recommend giving him at least maybe 50% if, if ever possible. Depending on how geared you are, you might need less support units which allows you to squeeze in another DPS for higher score. In this video, however, I want to show that you can actually do it with two healers, one debuffer, one DPS, and moderate gear, we can still break 7,000 score. And here's my current one. If you like what you've seen so far, do subscribe to the channel so I can help YouTube help me tell you when I have new videos released. 
So here are the support units I recommend for the fight. Jinatsu for damage reduction and occasional heals, Evelyn for AoE heals, and Roy for increasing the damage the boss receives. You also have the option of adding one more heal like Claudia if your team is just not surviving and Gabriel keeps dying. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go through the most important part of this video. Here are the timing and sequence for deploying the team. You'll need to drop your units manually for this one and I highly suggest reducing the speed to one time. First, drop Gabriel, Yushiyun and Chinatsu early so Shiyun can get his ultimate bar recharging as soon as possible. Chinatsu is dropped for reducing damage taken, improving survivability of everyone on the field. Wait for the boss's first skill to pop and then drop Sanae for a passive and drop Evelyn after to heal so everybody is alive for as long as possible. I drop Kim Sobin after since my frontline is still healthy. After this, you want to always keep enough deployment resource in the bank to make sure you can drop Gabriel again in the event that he does fall in battle. As you can see when she enters her second phase, she ignores Gabriel and moves forward. You'll want to drop DPS units behind her and keep cycling units for the remainder of the fight. It is now a race against time. And that concludes the fight. Once again, I'd like to mention one more time that I deliberately use moderate gears on my employees and units and I use Lake Superior for my ship choice to show you that it is possible to hit beyond 7000 score without the units we used for Nervia in the previous video. By now, you should have a better understanding of the boss and have a general idea on what to do for the fight. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll gladly help you the best I can. Until the next video, Game on, score high, and hopefully get ranked for this. Bye.